I still can't believe I did it. The Montcalm tribes of bandits are gone thanks to me. Is this what confidence feels like? What the heroes of old felt like all the time? Oh, I feel like I could take on the world. Just wait until Ciezo hears they're safe now. I feel like nothing can stand in my way and you know what? I'll prove it. After heading home and telling Ciezo they're all safe, and after a night of celebrating, I'm packing my bags and heading west. No more sitting around, no more wondering, and no more whispers. I am scaling conflux, and I'm doing it tomorrow. Another beautiful morning here in Sierzo, and yes, Gilwyn has made his way back to the city, as always, relatively safely, just to store all the things he found, and being the hero of Sierzo, he expected some sort of celebration, yet nobody seems to care that he got rid of the, the bandits nearby, but that's okay. He doesn't do it for the glory or fame, he does it for the respect of those, and the safety of those within his fair town. Now, we're very close to heading off to the mountain. Um, I, I kind of wanted to do it today, but I'm going to wait one little bit because there's still a side quest I haven't done yet, and that's getting blue sand for the weaponsmith, which then he'll hopefully craft a weapon for us. And then with that weapon and a little bit of money that we've made all together and maybe a little bit of money that we're still going to make in the uh, upcoming adventure that Gilwin is about to go on. We'll be able to move to the mountain with some confidence that we'll get through it relatively safely. Um, but Gilwin got word. Rumors swirl around, as they typically do, uh, about where one can find... I hear, like... <laughs> oh, it's a crackling fire. Good one, by the way, Mathis. You hear stuff. Genius. Um, but you know, as I was saying, you know, things... Ooh, improvised bedroll. Uh, let's disassemble... No, we don't need it right now. I, I wonder if I can break it down, actually. Let's, let's actually see if we can break this down. Um, but rumors swirl around the city. In blue sand, though, it is apparently a relatively hard item to find. Um, where where it can be found... Let's just drop this for now, because we have two. Where it can be found is not that far away. That's the thing with, with this world. No matter where you go... Uh, a looter armor. I'll take that. And that. No matter where you go... Um, no, no matter how close you are to the home, your home city, it, things are always, always, always dangerous here uh, in this world. Horrendously so. Uh, hang on, I want to take a look at my armor here. Impact is six, cold resistance is six, pouch is four. This is ten. Ten. This might be better for us to wear. It actually might be way better for us to wear. Armor-wise, we don't look nearly as, I don't know, I think the other armor is way cooler looking, but uh, this serves its purpose. And it seems to be a bit of a better defense for us, both to cold weather and, and uh, elsewhere. Okay, there we go. So through here, if we make our way out to the beach, there's supposedly a little cave out there where our deer, oh, they respawned. I didn't know they could do that. <laughs> Okay, oh, down he goes. Well, troglodyte, I didn't want to kill you, dude. I didn't even know why you're down here. I thought I thought I cleared this place out. Um, but there's a cave out on the beaches that this place leads to that we should be able to find ourselves. I can't see, but he's dead. Four swipes of this thing kills. Ooh, silver, perfect. Uh, in that cave is supposedly where we can find some blue sand, so that's where we're going to go. I'm excited for the day that Gilwin is eventually able to get himself a better lantern. Or maybe just hold it out in front of him. It's nice to dangle it from the backpack. It certainly helps a great deal. But it is by far not the easiest way to do things. Alright, so I think I'm told this is where we want to go. We shall see. Okay, yeah, we, we've been here. Yeah, we, we killed the, uh, the pistol shrimp out here. So we've definitely been here already. Whoops. There we go. I wanted to sheath them. 
One day. One day, remember, it's down that she is not up. Up drops the backpack. It's all right, Mathis, you'll be all right. We haven't really gone all the way out here before, now that I think about it. We were out here twice, I think that's it. We rescued somebody who got us that tribal favor, which was very lucky for us. And then beyond that, we actually just turned around and went back. We never kind of pushed outward. Right? It's supposedly under all the shells in the mountainside. Is that a bird? No. I mean, all these shells seem like they give hint that there's something over here. Little leftover building. Ooh, there's like a tiny, tiny ass little area. Starfish cave. All right, well. Fingers crossed that Gilwyn is uh, skilled enough to take on whatever horror is sitting here, but if it's like pistol shrimp, I'm going to be very scared. I, I'm interesting. See, this is why I like this game, and I'm glad that there are people who are kind of guiding, not guiding me, but giving me a little hints as to what to do every once in a while. Um, we're going to pop out of here. We're going to set up camp. And we're going to come back here. Very, very, very shortly. We're gonna spend about... We're gonna spend the night camping. There's a reason that there is a ton of water there. So, um... I'm gonna set up a camp right outside the cave. If there's a tree nearby... Yeah, there's a tree. Let's go grab some wood. But we're gonna set up camp. We have to watch our back while we're out here, but we're not too far from Sierra Zoe if we desperately do need to run somewhere. But let's go ahead and grab some wood. Oh, there's a cl way closer tree if I just had turned around slightly. Okay, let's set up a campfire here. Perfect. All right. And we're going to go ahead and <clears throat> use this tent, get inside. And we are going to all the way up to about here, right about to here. Let's go ahead and confirm that. We're going to leave our fire, our tent there. I want to head inside for a second. See if this is a little, a little early if we're right on time. Aha. So we have to pop in here when the tides are low. And I guess the tides are only low very early in the morning, hence why we needed to hold out. I do see a pistol shrimp in here. Uh, let's go ahead and turn our light on. Gillen moves with caution. I'm going to mine the salt. That's blue sand. Okay, there it is. That's cool. It's hard to see, actually, but there's enough here. We can age our shrimp as well. But we might be able to get ourselves a dope new weapon. I kind of want to see what this, uh... All right, I gotta take it all because I can hear him. This pistol shrimp is gonna do. Ooh! Oh, God! Okay. Is he gonna come over here? Ugh. All right. Pop it. Ugh. Okay. Whenever he's gonna do that, it's a bit much. All right. Let's back up. Let's heal. I'd like to see if I could explore behind him. Let's pop off our backpack. Oh god. Okay, we're good. I kind of want to roll. Ow. Ow. Okay, back up. I 
can't really see. My lantern's on my little backpack. Back up! can get him just knocked him over we're good we're good we're good oh that was close good job Gilwin you're getting better buddy you're getting a whole lot better okay let's quickly bandage before we move in hopefully there's something valuable here if not well we got to at least kill a pistol shrimp in the process it's a bunch of clean water a rock that I can't mine. More clean water, which is, again, not bad. Seaweed. I guess this was just his little cave. His home. Killing him was maybe not, you know, necessary, but we got the blue sand. So if we open up our journal, all right, we can actually just bring the him blue sand. He'll craft us something. Then after that, uh, we just need the, I kind of just want to get the warm armor and we can actually truly begin, I think, the hike up to uh, Conflux Mountains, finally. It's gonna be a hell of a journey though. One that I can't even guarantee we're gonna make it through. We might die halfway up the mountain and get sent off. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our tent. Let's see what we can get for a weapon. Ooh, is this more blue sand? Now that I know what blue sand looks like. All right, back in the safety of Sierra Zone. Always a welcome sight. We'll go right to the Smith. Let's see what he has for us. Loud hammer. I like your name, buddy. Craft me something. Helmet, armor, or boots. I'm sure a blue sand, and I don't have the... I think I'm going to have to just ask for a helmet. Um, I don't have the 250 silver, though. But I might be able to make it just by selling stuff. At that point, though, is it worth it? Okay, made a little bit of cash there. I'm going to go ahead and learn some things real quick. Uh, let's see. We already know those, so I wonder if I can make some good money off the scrolls. Okay. Let's go see how much money we've got. And then it's really a judgment call. I don't really know how difficult the trek up to the mountains are going to be, but we're going to get cold. And that's my big concern, is how cold we're going to end up getting. We could sell... The, uh, the big sword we ended up getting from our, our uh, attack on the bandit camp, which might be probably our best bet. Because right now we've got a whopping 33 silver on us. Um, we've got 179 silver here. Let's actually go ahead and take out one of the oils as well. Can fetch a good price. We might as well sell it. I'm going to keep the giant heart garnet for now, if only just for my own sake. We'll sell the other larva eggs. I think we'll sell one of the bows. Worker boots, trader boots. Simple shoes, we'll sell all those. And the machetes we can get rid of too. And the cleaver halberds, what's so expensive? All right, we've got a lot to sell. I'm gonna go do this right now. This is as fast as I can go, so I'll see you on the other side of the sale. All right. We actually have enough to get, to have him craft us something, and I'd feel remiss if I didn't at least complete that quest. So let's see what he can make for us. Can I actually buy blue sand off of him? No. All right, let's have him make us a helmet. Come back later. Uh, well, we need to sleep either way. So let's go ahead and get to bed. 
Uh, and we'll come back in the morning and see what he has for us. Hopefully, whatever we end up getting is going to be worth it. And then we'll make a decision as to what we want to do with there after. All right. Good night of sleep for good old Gilwin there. Well deserved. Well deserved. It's been sleeping on the wilds quite more, uh, quite often lately. And in the wintertime, that's miserable, man, especially when your fire goes out. Let's see what our helmet, what helmet we have. And then we still have 123 gold left. Probably put that in my chest and then um, maybe start the journey out and hope that we can make it without freezing to death on, along the way. Because I don't think we can get our jacket or armor. Because I think that's 250. It's 225. Close enough. And there's not much I have to sell here. That would get me up to that point. Here to collect my armor piece, Loud Hammer. Hello there, Gilwin. Need some gear. Uh, we got a blue sand helm. We crafted a blue sand armor. Uh, all right, there it is. Mana cost plus 10%. Stamina cost plus 4%. Movement speed minus 4%. And everything else is slightly better. I don't know if this is any good. Slower movement speed. Mana cost, eh, that's not a huge deal. The stamina cost being higher, though? I feel like that's just a bad roll of the dice that we got, but screw it, I guess. We'll hang on to it. I'd really, um, you know, I'd really prefer if it was something a little bit better, but does, does our old helmet give us cold resistance? It does, and this doesn't. This might be just better to have on us. The blue sand helmet. I don't know. We could we could swap to the blue sand helmet once we're inside a dungeon or surrounded by enemies, or we know we're going to be surrounded by enemies. We'll keep it in our inventory for now. Let's transfer all of our cash. The scavenger coat, some beetles. We're going to need to eat those. Improvised bedroll. Let's go ahead and throw that in there because we have a tent now. Unless we can, unless the bedroll is good because we can put it anywhere but I'm not going to worry about it. Blue sand. I'm going to use the oil. Salt. Linen cloths. Hides. We have plenty of food. We have plenty of water. A lantern. Weapons. And not terrible armor. I think we begin our journey toward the, the Conflux Mountains and see if we can climb to the very tippy top. Now we have the... We do know of the entrance at the bottom towards the basement. Uh, which is the fastest but, but most dangerous way to the top of Conflux, wherein we could take the apparently safer but slower uh, climb. That's probably what we're going to have Gilwin do. Not that I don't trust Gilwin to survive his own journey uh, that he set himself he sets himself on, but more for my own worry of my own skill. Gilwin's still a common man, and he has to kind of treat it as such. Stepping out of Sierzo into the light, snowy sky. Cold at his front, his back, and his sides. But Conflux off to the south. His journey to the top of it, where the whispering calls, begins. What is calling him? Why it's calling him? Is there truly going to be magic at the top of that mountain? He hopes to get all these answers sooner rather than later. It's everything that he has been journeying towards since the very beginning. Whatever lies at the top of there, the promise of extreme power, or just something waiting to take his soul, he'll discover on his own, one way or another. Unless, of course, something distracts him before he gets there. Gilwin has to feel quite excited to be heading towards Conflux officially now. Something he's been dreaming for, for, well, at least half a year, like at least half a year with the seasons changing. Whatever sits up there, whatever he feels has been calling to him to finally know that he's going to at least make an attempt to get up there. That's got to be exciting stuff. I'm excited for him. I just don't know what kind of horrible things await us. Um, right. I forgot that this was over here. I probably shouldn't have come over here. This last time I was here, there was a ton of wargs. Or whatever they were. Let's draw a weapon. You know, I haven't checked this cave. Might be worth it for us to do that. Let's 
see if we can get a sneak attack on some of them. There's three of them. Let's see if I can get at least one down. Okay. Oh god, I got an infection already on a disease. Okay, we'll hold out. We might be able to kill it off, that disease. Come on. One more. Really? There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's take all the hide. Uh, the predator bones actually as well because we can make good weapons out of that and we'll, we'll check our tea and see if we have enough for healing ourselves does not look like it we might need to go head back and buy it but oh there's where the blood trail leads ah that blood trail that we saw right on the outskirts of the city leads here is there is this like a dungeon oh is a hyena burrow really oh dang man well, curiosity has me. I have to know what, what it looks like in there, even with the, just the disease. Uh, we gotta look. We gotta take a peek. I mean, we killed a bunch of hyenas sitting on the outside. We might as well. Oh, okay. You know, that's fine. See you later. <laughs> I don't... We'll, we'll, we'll pop back in. Hang on. We'll, we'll pop back in. I thought I saw like two of them approaching. If it's two, we gotta run. Okay, let's try again. I got scared. No, I didn't get scared. Gilwyn got scared. Okay, it's just the one. Down. Beautiful. This weapon is great. Another old lantern. A lot of these birds just eating alive. Boy, oh boy, open worker's corpse. Do I wish I could see better? Yeah, let's, we just got some, some cloth. Let's go ahead and make ourselves some bandages. Honestly, let's go ahead and take the dark worker attire too. Let's break it down. And keep those three. Let's try and stick close to walls. Another worker's corpse. It's the one I killed, actually. Is that it? That might be it, actually. Oh, no. Not yet. Well, maybe it is. <laughs> That's all of it. We got an old lantern there. Oh, can we disassemble the old lantern, actually, now that I... If I grab it? Yeah, we can get some iron scraps out of it. Works for me. All right, well. Hey, it worked. I actually need to frustratingly, unfortunately, need to run back. I absolutely need to make sure I have disease stuff because if I get disease like this, I can't do anything about it unless I have some tea on me. And I didn't, I don't have a cauldron to brew my own. So I need to I need to go get it. It's not that far of a walk though. I'll probably end up sleeping too, just to make sure. We're also gonna go ahead and grab a cauldron so we can cook our own potions uh, and our own teas, which will help us with dealing with our own infections. Okay, we are officially good to go. A little side adventure, but we're good. Now we can start heading out. So where we want to go is out this door and we'll take a look at our map. All right. So we just want to follow the road to the right and basically follow the road right the entire time. 
we should come across uh, the pathway that leads us up Conflux Mountain. I do think we're going to take the long way around. We're going to take the outside road. Maybe that'll lead inside occasionally. But with potions and so on, we should be fine. Nope, oh, Angry Bird. We haven't fought really in one of these in a while. Ow. Now you're dead. See what happens? I hear another one. Fight me. Or don't fight me, it's fine. Well, if it doesn't want to fight, that's all right. We'll keep moving. Ah, uh, the empty bandit camp. How I wish I could take that over for myself and make it like my own base of operations. That'd be kind of fun. All right, there it is. Conflux just staring down Gilwin in a distance, always looming over him, taunting him. Gilwin finds himself at his first choice, really. On the right-hand side, we, f we find a familiar path, one that leads underground where we find that particular knight who is willing to escort us to the best of his capability and go from there. Or we can go left and see what the side of this mountain brings. And honestly, that kind of calls to me more. So, why not take the path we've not traveled yet? The outside one that leads under an archway long forgotten to time. Belonging to a civilization well before the world fell into the dangerous ruin that it has become thanks to the scourge and whatever my grandmother did to start it. But this is where the journey of Conflux actually starts. How dangerous is this place going to be? And how woefully underprepared is Gilwin? Well, it's only one way to find out. We'll see what the rest of this day brings him before we say goodbye to Gilwyn. Who knows? There might be something worth exploring up here. That archway kind of signifies the start of this journey. Another archway. Nothing to stop us yet, but I'm going to take the, my weapon out just in case. Doesn't mean that there won't be. We're also getting kind of cold, but we have some teas we can pop if we need to. And I think I actually have a tea that'll cure a cold if we end up catching one. Here, you know what? Let's, let's bandage real quick. Just to kind of catch up some of that health. Unless we can't heal that. And I'm I'm misunderstanding. Yeah, we might, might, might not be able to heal it. Look at this. Old walls lining the sides. Look at all of this. This is cool. Ruins that sit at the edge that we didn't get to check out. A separate path, perhaps? Or is that what leads under... Oh, there's another way in over there. There's many different ways into Conflux, it seems. A choice for each adventurer who dares try to answer Conflux's call. Yeah, this looks a little scary. A nest? Some birds, perhaps? Pearl birds? Yeah, we'll loot it. Now, we saw this in the bandit camp, actually, an altar that looked exactly like this. And then what do we have here? A mana stone? Absolutely. Take what we can. And traps. Not quite something I've been using, though I probably should start. And yet, here I am ignoring it. I want to go up the archway, but... This man-made archway is calling to me a little bit more. Probably looks like a dead. It looks like a dead end. Another mana stone, maybe. No, there's definitely a whole path over here. A bridge that is suspended by hopes and dreams alone. Wait, is this a way into the mountain? Ooh. Heroic Kingdom's Conflux Path. Is this where we have to go? Oh, I don't like this. Hello? I see you. You don't want to fight, right? No, you definitely want to fight. Ex 
explorer lantern? Absolutely. Um, let's move this to pocket. Keep the explorer lanterns on. It's like way better, it looks like. Hello. Yeah, you want to fight. Whoa! Oh, girl. I probably shouldn't use that big ass attack. Doesn't seem to do much. Oh, I hit you during your spell, girl. Goodbye. Oh, you healed. Okay, there we go. There we go. Got her, got her. Ice witch. I'll take those. I'll take all those for food. My bag's a little overweight, but we need a camp now at least. I'm gonna place to sleep. Oh, is this where the journey's gonna take us? Is this what we're gonna have to deal with? What is this? Looks dangerous. A cage? Anybody need to be freed? No. Our bag is overweight. That does worry me a little bit. Let's put our helmet on. Uh, our better helmet, rather. Let's take a drink. I'm gonna go ahead and drop these. And pound a jerky. Okay. All right, Gilwin. Scares me a bit. Climb the rope? I'm supposed to go down more? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Oh, you died. Excuse me? What happened and why are you dead? That is something that definitely will set off Gilwin's senses, man. Poison rag. I don't really want to take the wood, but uh, I will combine this with the oil. And a treasure chest? Money. Wool shroom. Eaten. When you eat it, it muffles the sound of your footsteps. That's super valuable. It's a trap there. Okay. Well. Elevators. Whoop! And a spike trap. Oh, Mathis! Stop the bleeding. Alright. Well, there's a chest over here. I don't know what killed them. I don't know what fought them. Ah, oh, God. It's so hard to see. And I'm still bleeding. Let's see if we can stop it. Be very, very careful. Here. Might just be crackling fire, but still. Three more bandages. And something that leads deeper and deeper down. I have a feeling Conflux is going to be much more of a maze than first initially anticipated. What the hell? Interesting. This Explorer's Lantern is at least a, a help. So can we go up the elevators then? There's a trap right there. I almost stepped on it again. Oop. Maybe they're stepping on traps. Okay, we're going up. Yeah, all right, we got troglodytes here. At least one. Likely he's just a patrolman. Yeah, we've got two. Poison grenade, I guess. Well. You want to swing? 
Okay, one down. Yeah, yeah, come on in. Come on. There you go, step on that trap. Okay, one down. Oh, asshole. Okay, stop. Take that, that, I'll wait there. Do we have antidote? We do. Down it. And then I think we're just gonna go ahead and down this potion to fully heal. I'm just gonna push on. Using their own traps against them seems to be a good tactic currently. Troglodyte statues. Iron veins, you know, it's not the worst. It's not not what I want right now, but it's not the worst. And it seems that this is a dead end. Oh, well, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Spoke too soon. The darkness is gonna get me lost and I'm gonna miss things, I know it. Another switch. I can disassemble something? Oh, it's a sleeping bag. I didn't even see it. Didn't realize that's what it was there. Yeah, that's, that's an area we've already been. I'm not quite sure what I'm missing, but I think I think the journey up Conflux is going to be a long one. To say the least. That excites me. I didn't expect and didn't want the journey up Conflux to be easy. I don't want it to be a gimme. Ooh, we're going up even more. Well, well, well. Maybe there was a puzzle aspect to it. Um, I need to drop this. I also want to look at the lantern. The Explorer's Lantern has quite a lot of fuel, so we're good there. There's a monster down there that was not there before. Looks like a magic troglodyte. Okay, now we're on the ground. We need to kill this guy off. I don't know where he came from. What are you doing? Yikes! Oh god. Okay, down he goes. Good, good. Mana troglodyte. I'll, I'll take that. I already have a troglodyte staff. What is that noise? Something's fighting something else. So basically, I need to get this down on the on our floor. I need to get up there. Maybe I climb the rope again. We could always approach from a different angle as well. We could swing outside and hope for the best that way. But I think this is where we take our first break. Gilwin has gotten the first steps. Can I see through the wall? The first steps to heading up Conflux. He's got some decent gear, a decent helmet, and a whole lot of determination. All right, Gilwin. Your journey truly starts now. It's dark and it's cold. I can hear creatures scurrying about. They're fighting each other and the noises are ungodly. This mountain is restless and everything inside it is different. Ice colder than any ice I've ever felt rippling forth from some woman's fingertips. Troglodytes who look like conflux infested their very being and everything wants everything else dead. How am I supposed to sleep in here? I'm not ready. I'm not ready at all. I'm stuck here now though, and I can't go back with nothing to show. No, I can... I can do this. Elat, watch over me. I don't want to die. <laughs>